Do it like it's your be day, baby. Do it like you're growing sexy, okay? There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. What's up? What's up, you guys? What's up, divas? What's up, divos? What's up? Welcome to the Muffin Is My Lover show. Y'all already know what time it is. Like, look, I, I say this, girl, look. First of all, we're about to do it like it's our B day. I'm going to give y'all a little, little fashion show, you know, kind of like a, like a try on haul, plus size try on. Girl, listen, if you're not plus size, I don't know if you really want to stay to the end, but I'm pretty sure you can find some smaller sizes on this website, too. Okay, let's just get into this video. Like, after this video, when I'm done, I'm definitely gonna show you some outfits that I put together. However, let me just say this sometimes it does not really feel like a journey, it feels like a whole total adventure. And it, I guess at the same time, it is a journey, but I, I swear to you guys, it feels like an adventure. Like, I have been trying to lose weight, shed weight for months. Like, no lie, no cap. Like, seriously, I have been trying so hard. You know, I complained about the gym all the time. I I don't like going to the gym. I don't like going to the gym. I really don't like going to the gym. I really don't want to watch you thinner people work out. I really don't want to see the same scenery. I just don't. I'd rather just do it at my home or be outside with nature. Because it's a thousand and a million degrees today, and for this entire summer out here in Arizona, I am restricted to just indoors. So I've lost weight three times before, prior to this. No, excuse me, two times prior to this. <sighs> we'll start on that. So yes, I have been purchasing plenty of new items to wear, new, new, new apparel to wear, because I of course, I did gain some weight. So with that being said, I'm not gonna keep talking y'all ear off, but just know this, like beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It doesn't have to necessarily be the size of you or the face of you or the body of you. It can just be you as a person who is just beautiful inside and out regardless. So just remember that we don't all have to be the same size because everybody's unique in their own ways. And when you ever feel down about yourself, just think about some really cool and healthy goals that you can do just to better yourself and make yourself feel better versus sitting around and looking at other people that might be in the range of the format that you want to be because everybody's life may seem grass, greener on the, on the one side of the fence, but I guarantee you it's not always that great. So with that being said, girl, let's get into this video. So y'all already know how I feel about Wild African. I've been really working a lot with them lately, and I appreciate that because they have like some really, really good wigs, boo, okay? When I tell you they have some good wigs, girlfriend, they got some good wigs. This is the Yaki Straight Girl. This is 22 inches. This is that good ass lace, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day, okay? If you're gonna do it like it's your B-Day, do it like it's Wild African way, okay? This is the HD Film Lace. You know, this is the meltable lace. It's already pre-bleached for you. Now, mind you, when you get it bleached from the factory might not be bleached to your expectations but just keep in mind they don't want to over process your hair it is bleached lightly if you want to do a deeper deeper bleach then you have all the bleach in the world go ahead and do so i just left it as it is we're gonna just work it out i'm gonna get ready and take it off of here and while i do that i'm gonna show you how y'all wig come okay bro. So did I actually forget to mention that this is a 360 lace front wig, which means that you can part it and put it up in a higher bun or a ponytail if you choose to. Kind of like having a full lace wig, but just not with all the parting. Um, as far as like 
taping the na nape or gluing the nape. I normally do not do that with any of my lace wigs because I just feel like I can always pull down a little bit of the hair in the nape area to camouflage without me having to glue or hairspray any type of nape area down. So I used to do that back in the day. I kind of like got over the whole full lace wig, like adhering it to the nape. But if you choose to do that, you can do so with the 360. like it's your bidet baby so the scalp is definitely scalping like the lace is lacing it's giving you realness it's giving you natural it's giving you body it's giving you everything it's supposed to give and then some girl get you one of these wigs from wild africa you will not be disappointed so yeah this is the first time i've ever did one of the 360 lace frontals but girl listen this is cute i like the way that i could just flip it up 
put it in a ponytail if I wanted to, side swept. It's hot out here. It's like a million degrees. So I don't really want all that hair on my face, especially because it's just too damn hot. However, I do like this unit like this. You know, I gotta check myself out. The sides look so natural and realistic. You know, the parting doesn't have to be parted properly perfect because it's hair. It doesn't have to be like a super duper straight part. You know what I'm saying? I like it like that. I don't, I don't want the line to be bone straight. You know what I'm saying? Like no little pieces of hair straight. I want it to look as natural as possible. So this is what I do. Okay. As natural as possible. Some people don't like baby hair. Some do. It's all up to you what your preference is. Okay. So for me, I'm going to just swoop some of these back a little bit because I don't want it too thick on the sides. And one thing that I will say about this unit is I definitely had to keep the clips in overnight because the curls would have definitely fell out. Plus, I did notice some shedding of the unit. Other than that, the wig is nice. It's full. It was bleached properly. For me, I just put where there was a little bit of speckles, I just put some concealer and just left it like that. I don't want to overdo with the bleaching because I definitely don't want the hair to fall off. But look, girl, you could pin it up and do you a summer, summer style, honey. This is what I always come up because I feel like this style, it suits me with the two sides pinned up like this. You could corn roll it if you want to. You could pin it back. I like it pinned back. I don't really like to do the corn roll too much. I think like, I think like the pinning, like the twisting gives it like a more elegant look. It's up to you. Do what you want. But this unit is super duper cute, baby. Do it like it's your B-Day, baby. Do it like you grown and sexy, okay? So after this video, I will definitely show you one of my outfits. I'm gonna be doing on a try on haul with some shapewear. So stay tuned for it, get into it. Make sure you stay to the end of this video to see what I pair with this Wow African Yaki 22 inch 360 lace frontal, okay? On that note, I will leave all the information in the description box below. Stay diva and divalicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs the video up, and let me know what you think, girl. Thank you.